Hey, uh, the Dina Life, he requested that I do a video on the, how I remove mine. Since I made that one video, I've actually seen another one that explains the same as I did, but his was a whole lot easier than mine to take off. So th this doesn't have the two set screws. It has a small two millimeter set screw on the top. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, right there, two millimeter set screw on the top. And <clears throat> you gotta loosen that up. You don't have to take it out, but you do have to loosen it up. I've already taken off the the choke and the shroud right here. Make it a little quicker on the vid. And what I did is uh, I, I already made sure there's no, uh, it's not chambered. There's nothing in there. I, you know, strut the bottom. We can't, it's a pain in the butt to try to do this one hand. It's a heavy, it's kind of heavy. And I just cracked my thumb open at work. So kind of working here lame. But anyhow, back to this, uh, the, the hand guard, it, it didn't come off so easy the first time. So I got my hammer here. So what I did is, w with the mallet, I tapped it right in here on the, on the Picatinny rail. And with the mallet, I was just tapping it. And it came right off, but it, I mean, I'm not going to say it was easy. I, I really had to work it because it, it wasn't coming off. And I was getting ready to take the rifle, the, I'm sorry, shotgun back. So what I, I suggest, you know, take a, a hammer and just, As you can see, it took three small taps on the site, and it came right apart. Now, this being a shotgun, I'm, I don't—I know I've seen a lot of people do the 200 yards, 100 yards, 50 yards. Um, it's a shotgun. For me, if I'm going to use this in any form of a self-defense or any anything like that, it's going to be probably a whole lot closer than 20 yards. And uh, it's a shotgun. So the sights, I mean, kind of like on my other old school grandpa shotgun, it just has a little ball and a little U-shaped deal. And that's how, I, uh, that's how you aim it. So I figure, well, I, I bought the red dot. It's a cheap red dot, Amazon deal. But it's a shotgun. You don't want to spend too much money. It's a, you know, $300, $350 shotgun. You don't want to spend a lot of money on it. Plus, I'm going to go through a lot of those. This, another deal for you, I had absolutely zero issues, zero. And I'm talking after watching all the videos on everybody complaining about how it locks up and it doesn't eject or it doesn't cycle. For one, they're shotgun shells. They're very soft. They're pliable. So when you, if you take the tip of your, your shotgun shell and you squeeze it, you can reshape it. So yeah, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a shotgun shell. It's made of plastic. It's not, you know, the, it's, it's a shotgun shell. These worked. 1450, 12 gauge, I mean, I don't know, two and three quarters. What was it? One and, come on, focus, foo. One and three eighths, and a five shot. It worked for me. Man, I'm telling you, I, I, I shot off about 120 of those, and my shoulder still hurts. But I wanted to get it broke in, and I had zero defects. I mean, everything ejected on the last round. It stayed back. Um, the bolt stayed back and locked in place. Um, what a blast. Uh, I, I don't know if I'll post that video because I'm pretty goofy looking in it. And uh, I was so stoked when I was shooting it. It was like, holy moly, this thing. I've, I've shot a lot of shotguns. It's, I mean, it's it's for the price. It's a fun shotgun to, sh to have to shoot. And, and you know what? If you need it and you have the right rounds in it, I think it'd be pretty reliable. I had zero issues with 120 shotgun shells. Zero defects, zero anything. I mean, it loaded. Everything was fine. Uh, I, after watching all those videos where they had problems with it, I can see they were using the, the 1100, uh, what is it, 1100 feet per second or something like that, or 1200. Uh, I'm going to try, the next ones I'll try are 1300s, but these, these work. So if you're going to break it in, I suggest you break it in with these. And uh, have fun, man. It's a it's a fun shotgun for the price. You can't go wrong. I mean, there's some nice, some really nice ones out there. Uh, you know, twenty five hundred dollars if you want to spend. It. But for me, because this is this is just gonna be like a toy to go out and blast stuff. I I think it's great. And who knows? I might end up having it for a self defense. But for now, it's it's a plinker. And if you're going to just go out planking and it's not like something you're 100% going to rely on for life and death, this is great. But even so, after my experience with it, 
hey, you know, I, I, I'd have this next to my bed in a heartbeat. Anyways, um, the Dean Life, that's the that's how I got mine off, boss. Hopefully this helps you out. Um, I did use my hand in the desert again, but it was it was tough. It wasn't easy. So good luck, boss.